Hello everyone, welcome to day 3rd of the Sample Lead Code Challenge and today's question is increasing order search tree. So in this question you are given a binary search tree, you need to rearrange it in, in order so that the leftmost tree is now the root of the tree and every node has no left child and only one right child. So question tells you exact steps that you need to do. It gives you three hints, one is the in order traversal, the other one is that every node of the tree should have no left child. And the third hint is it should have only one right child. So let's iterate through a simpler case first and then we'll come to example number one. So let's take one, five, and seven. So what you need to transform one, five, seven uh, to this tree where each node has e its right child and each node in the tree has no left child and single right child. Uh, so let's iterate through this in an in order fashion. One, 5 and 7. This is what you get when you do the in order traversal. So whenever you are at uh, any node, uh, what you are going to do, you will point the previous node in the in order traversal rights element to the current node. So for example, when you are at fifth point, uh, fifth node and one have been already uh, traversed, that was the immediate previous node. So what you are going to do, one dot right should point to the current node, which has been in this case. Also, the second, uh, as per the second clause, you need to uh, make sure that the previous node's left element should always point to uh, null. That means whenever you are iterating through the in order traversal, you have to make sure that its left node is pointing to null. Hence, uh, we are clear with the three steps. One is we doing in order traversal. The second one, making sure that the previous node's right child points to the current node being executed through which the iteration in order traversal is being performed and the third one being that the current node left child to point to null so let's let's walk you through the algorithm now uh, i have taken a shorter example than what was specified in the question uh, in example one uh, here the tree has 10 9 7 and 1 and we talked about we'll be moving in the in order for traver, uh, traversal in order fashion and we'll have a previous node as a pointer and the head of that we need to return of the new tree that we'll have so this is the head of the new tree and this is the previous node and we'll ke keep track of the previous node by these two variables and we'll be using a stack based approach for the traversal so that you understand better recursions are compact but difficult to understand a uh, stack based approach or the iterative approach is simpler and easier to understand. So a here I have written the algorithm. Uh, it's a standard way of writing the in order traversal. Push onto the stack while current is not equal to null. And you push onto the stack current dot left child iteratively. Uh, pop the element from the stack. You set head. Uh, from uh, whenever head is equal to null that will ha happen only once uh, you set uh, left dot elements dot left child to null this was rule number two uh, in the question the hint that was given to us also if the previous is not null you set previous dot right to top of the element this was rule number three that in the question that you need to set previous dot right child to the current top element you update the previous node to the uh, equal to the current top element and you update a uh, current element to top dot right this is the standard protocol of writing the in order traversal now let's walk through you through the example and let's create a stack so you got 10 and while uh, the current element is not equal to null you keep on pushing onto the stack so 10 got pushed then 9 got pushed then 1 got pushed and uh, as soon as you see that the current element uh, is null current dot left element is null you stop and now what you'll do you'll pop out from the stack the topmost element and you'll check whether the head of the tree the new tree is equal to null or not in this case it is null you will set the topmost element uh, equal to the head of the element so our head will be this so this will be our new head which here which is which is a good case that this is what we want to do eventually achieve the previous is still pointing to null and uh, what we are going to do now 
uh, we'll uh, walk walk through this these tech, uh, these steps. So we are here. Uh, we'll make sure that the current element dot left child is null. So we made we explicitly made it again that current element left child is null, although it was previously null as well. Previous is null case, so we'll skip that step and we'll update the previous to one. So p becomes this this element, and current gets updated to current dot right. It is again empty, so uh, it will skip the iteration. And uh, let's move on to the next element, which is nine. We got nine, and we popped it out from the stack. So el becomes the topmost element. This is the topmost element of the stack. Nine. And here, what we're gonna do? Uh, the current dot left element, the topmost element dot left element, will point this to null, make this null, and we'll point the previous element dot right elements to its uh, the topmost elements. So now the tree is looking something like this: one dot nine, and this is the head. And we'll make sure that the previous now points to uh, nine. So previous becomes this, and current becomes uh, nine dot right, which is null. So we'll move ahead, and so this is gone. This is gone, and previous is nine now. We come across ten. We pop out ten from the stack, and we'll see uh, whether uh, uh, we'll make we'll make sure that this becomes null. Ten dot left child becomes null as per rule two, and we see that previous is not null. So we'll make sure that nine's right child is pointing to ten. So now we have ten here. And we will make sure that current now points to seven, so current becomes seven. So that means the stack will have seven in it. And once it has seven, we'll pop out seven from the stack, and previous will definitely become nine, ten now. So previous gets updated to ten, and we got seven in the stack. We'll see. We'll make sure that uh, currents will pop it out. And we'll make sure that the uh, topmost elements left child is pointing to null. So this points to null now. So this is null. And previous is not null. So tens dot right will point to seven, which is good and which we wanted. And we'll update the previous to the topmost element. So previous becomes the last element of the uh, tree. And current dot top is equal to the el next element, which is uh, current becomes null. Hence, we are done with the tree traversal. So we get one, nine, ten, seven, which is as expected, and this is the new root of our tree. So let's quickly code this up. Defining a stack of tree nodes. St new stack. Defining two variables as discussed. Previous equals to null, and our new head. While stack is empty, is not empty, or current element, so current will point to the root of the tree. Current is not equal to null, so this is standard way of writing the, the iterative in order traversal. What you do, you while current is not equal to null. You push onto the stack. Stack dot push. Current. Current moves to current dot left. You pop out from the stack. Tree node head, the topmost element, and it will be equal to st dot top. If you update its right left child uh, to null, top dot left is always will always point to null. And if head is equal to null, one-time activity for updating head. Head equals to top. The new head will become the top for the leftmost element in the tree. And if previous element is not equal to null, you will add previous dot right to the topmost element. Also, you'll update the previous now. Previous is equal to top, and current equals to top dot right. I hope it should work. 
and we return the new head. Compilation error st dot top. Sorry, pop. It looks fine. Let me just submit it. Accept it. Let's talk about the time complexity of this approach. So time complexity would be equal to uh, order of n since we were iterating to the complete tree once. Also, you need a stack for it. So uh, that will can stretch up to order of n again, uh, the number of elements in the stack. So both time complexity and space complexity is order of n. Thanks for watching the video.